Hello, my name is Ramsey Marantis, and today I will be speaking about coral reef bleaching and its negative effects. Coral reef bleaching is when a reef loses its symbiotic algae, which is the main source of its nutrients. When bleaching occurs, a coral will appear to be pale and white. The causes of coral reef bleaching may vary. However, the main causes are an increase in oceanic temperature, ocean acidification, which is a rise in the pH level of the ocean, and chemicals and pollution, mainly due to heavy sunscreen use in areas with heavy tourism. Coral reef bleaching will also affect the economy of many coastal locations around the globe. We can see an example of this in the Florida Keys. The Keys main source of income is tourism. Without coral reefs and with coral reef bleaching happening, the Keys are projected to lose an estimated $2.7 billion of income. This is because the reefs are what pull in the tourists from many different places. Also, this is bad because more than half of the jobs in the Keys are linked to tourism, which means that without the tourism, jobs go down and jobs will be lost. Another reason why coral bleaching is bad for economies is because it reduces fishing activities nearby. This specifically in the Keys would cost not only the Keys, but the US nation $71.2 million as Key West is the 10 most, most valuable fishery in the US. There are also socioeconomic effects of coral bleaching. When reefs become degraded from coral bleaching, we have a less of a chance of being able to ensure shoreline protection, which puts us in more danger of floods, storms, and waves. We will also not be able to provide as many pharmaceutical drugs in order to treat heart disease and cancers and other illnesses as many of these drugs components come from coral reefs. As was said, an example of Key West, Coral reef bleaching can also threaten local communities who thrive off of coral reefs tourism that it attracts. Not only is there socioeconomic and economic downfalls to coral reef bleaching, but there is also ecological downfalls of coral, leech ble coral reef bleaching. Bleached corals have reduced growth rates and are less likely to reproduce and also have elevated mortality rates which means that once these corals are bleached, there is a very slim chance that they will recover, which means that the species that relied on them for food or shelter will no longer exist in that part of the world. Because as soon as the coral goes, so do the, so do the fish and so do all the wildlife that was relying on the coral to live. We can see this because coral reef bleaching results in a decline in species diversity. If the coral was bleached, more CO2 would be released into the atmosphere because the coral would no longer be able to absorb it. This means that coral reef bleaching is not only a problem for economies in economies and peoples in coastal locations, but for the whole entire world, because if CO2 emissions were to go up as a result of coral bleaching, which of course they would because they are no longer able to absorb the CO2, that CO2 would be released into the atmosphere causing an increase in global temperatures or an increase of global warming, which affects everyone on the planet. After hearing all of this, I'm sure you're wondering, what can I do to help? Well, I'm here to tell you. You can buy reef-friendly sunscreens. 
You can recycle and dispose of trash properly. You can minimize your use of fertilizers. You can use environmentally friendly forms of transport, such as buses, bikes, electric cars. Anything that reduces your CO2 emissions will help the coral reefs. And finally, the most important thing that you can do is spread the word because not enough people know that coral reef bleaching will affect the global ecosystem and the global economy. People usually only think that it will affect the people within close proximity to these reefs. However, based on my research, I can see that it will affect everyone. So the word needs to be spread. In conclusion, coral reef bleaching will have a negative effect on the global economy, the global ecosystem, and the overall way of life in the world. This is why we need to get ahead of this problem and solve coral reef bleaching now. Thank you.